like you said, it was the five hours for five minute conversation. Yeah. But you said in there four hours of chop a tree, one hour to sharpen or one yeah. hour five hours of chop a tree, one hour to sharpen an axe, or four yeah. hours to sharpen an Yeah. Egg. No, you sharpen it for five and then you, you whack it for one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. If you're like me. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's an old Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln said, if I was going to chop down a tree, I'd spend seven hours sharpening the axe and one hour chopping the tree. Yeah. And that's like a good that. point, man. Good point. You know, the sharper you are. See, most of us are too lazy to do that. We'll get out there and we'll just start swinging that axe, trying to make it happen. And, uh, we work, we work way harder than we're supposed to because it's dull. But if we were just to sit down and polish the ax for a little while before going to work with it, we'd have a lot better success. I think that's What else is going on in your uh, in your business as far as that uh, coho sale deal that you were working uh, in, mm-hmm. in Pittsburgh? You, you kind of let that one fly because they were getting crazy on you. Yeah, they were crazy from the door. Uh, I felt like they were honestly. It wasn't. It wasn't an honest deal. It wasn't honest. Uh, yeah, I say I say that because because remember. Uh, they initially said we would get 6% of their commission or something, a percentage of their commission. Yeah. So just the whole language, like, it, yeah, it was, she ended up trying to play the realtor and the wholesaler at the same time. Just, I don't know if the yeah. guy wasn't asking. It just was too much going on with that bill. Yeah. I've, I've had some coho sale deals with realtors. Mm-hmm. that I thought ended up being kind of a flaky deal. And I'm not saying that about them so much, but maybe <laughs> uh, a lot of them do it, do it well. But, um, but I've run across a few that were really <laughs> weird. I mean, just straight up weird. I've even had some of them hit me up again recently. Cause see, I tried doing deals with them when I was first getting started too. And uh, some of them worked, but some of them went like the way yours just did. And, you know, you learn, you learn who to work with and who not to work with too. You know, chances are you're not going to work with these people again because you had a bad experience. with them. That's what they don't get. Unfortunately, they don't get that because they created bad experiences for other people involved in this transaction that they're never going to do business with them again. And that's a lesson in life and in business for you as well. So don't let that happen to you. Create good experiences for your buyer. Do your best to create a good experience for the homeowner and for anybody else involved, title company people, when you get to that point. You know, because all that's important, man. You want these people to be like, wow, Shan, he was kind of refreshing. You know, mm-hmm. you know I like I liked doing, you know, I'll do, I'll do more deals with that guy. I mean, yeah, he was straight up, you know, and didn't give me the runaround, you know. And he also didn't try to keep all the money, you know. Yeah, and that's that's joint venturing, and so, man, good lessons learned there. Uh, well, you're a business owner, uh, you know you you run a business and and you want to run it professionally, you know, uh, you want to be a professional real estate wholesaler. You don't want to be one of those guys that does what they were doing, and and you 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 know you picked up on that pretty quick. But, uh, yeah, you know, coho sale, uh, you'll you'll meet some good guys too. You'll meet some real good guys that you like, that you'll be able to do some deals with. I've got some guys here in town that I just love, man. I trust them. I I, I drop my kids off and let them watch them. I mean, if it, if if if, I, <laughs> if yeah. I felt like I needed to and they were willing to, I mean, these dudes are just great. I, I love them. They're honest guys. They got really. They've got deals. Um, you know, they get deals, and and I trust them, and they trust me now. So. It's it's a big thing. It's a big deal. Um, I'm guessing Pittsburgh is such a small place. It's not a large, large, large place that the investor community is fairly prob- probably fairly tight knit there. 
And a lot of people know of a lot of other people. Mm. So you don't want people going. You want people saying, oh, man, you know, have you heard of this Shan guy? Yeah, man, he's he's a he said he's a new wholesaler here. He's got a he's put together a buyer's list and he's he's looking for for deals. And I mean, I talked to him. He seemed like a nice guy. I mean, you should you should hit him up. I think he he's getting deals. So you better call him. You want them saying that. You don't want them saying, oh, yeah, you, yeah, don't don't mess with that guy. I mean, last time I talked to him, it was like I felt like he he might be one of them scammer guys from Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want yeah. to be that, okay? <laughs> yeah. uh, so, yeah. anyway, uh, so you got your cash buyers list built. Great. Uh, you got your, uh, you got some marketing going for tenant buyers in that area yet? Nah, that's the only thing that I didn't start. Okay. You want to start that, put a little pretty, pr put, do what I call a faux ad, put a little fake, uh, fake house, fake picture, something old, something irrelevant, but something that looks like it fits the geography. You might have one of them call you and say, Hey, you got any of them rent to own homes around here? And you're like, no, man, they move pretty fast. Um, I've got to, I've got to find out a little more about you, and and then we'll we'll see if we can get you into one. But what's what's uh, what are you looking for? You looking to own a home? Oh yeah, yeah. You, well, these these require a, a few things. You got a couple good years of rental history. Yeah, yeah. You got some decent jobs, decent income. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well. Uh, this is going to have a reasonable down payment required kind of thing. What are you working with? Well, I've got to meet, we've got $15,000. We just need to get us into something. We just need to find something that we can get into. Mm -hmm. now, you got $15,000. Uh huh. Okay. Well, uh, and you're talking about putting 15,000 down and you just need to find something. Well, what are you looking for? And where? <laughs> yeah. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. So you might have that. That's called reverse. You're doing it in reverse because you got the buyer with the cash first and then you're going to try to source a deal for them. And that's a great way to do it too, man. But you ultimately are learning the skill with the mastering the phone thing, the course. You're learning <laughs> how to call and set, get deals. And then set the agenda. Say, yeah, set the agenda, do the qualification, then do the close. But you're learning how to get deals so that you can sell deals off to guys like that. And you've also got a cash buyers list. So honestly, man, I don't know if you can tell, but from my perspective and my experience, you're, you're putting the pieces together to become a full-fledged real estate wholesaler there because you've got the cash buyers list, uh, fix and flippers, landlords, and cash buyers that you can sell ugly house deals to. And then you also have, you know, the skill set that you're picking up of being able to get deals on the pretty house side by having that conversation. So, man, what can you not do? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you can do pretty houses, you can do ugly houses, you can do, so no matter what you're going to run into with a homeowner, you should have a solution that you can offer. Shut up, money. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. But don't forget to post, introduce yourself, tag a friend, like us, leave a comment, subscribe, share this video. Just do something. Don't just sit there. There's all that money out there. You got to get going. Get in motion. This is motion real estate.